dear students, I am Sahana Prasad from Department of Commerce, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Welcome to Business Studies class. In today's session, let's see the practical oriented questions related to second PUC Business Studies. So practical oriented questions are asked in section E in the final examination of Business Studies. So now let's go through chapter wise practical oriented questions. In chapter 1, that is nature and significance of management, the practical oriented question is, Assuming that you are the manager of an organization, draw the neat diagram of different levels of management to specify that authority, responsibility, relationships create different levels of management. So in this practical oriented question, you have to write the diagram showing the various levels of management. As you know, there are three levels of management, top level, middle level and supervisory level, that is lower level of management. So now we have to write the diagram. This is top level management. This is middle level management and this is supervisory management so these are the three levels of management so you have to write uh, who are the persons who come under top level management you have a CEO that is Chief Executive Officer and Board of Directors and you have a President and you have MD that is Managing Director and you also have Chairman. So in top level management you can see CEO, Board of Directors, President, MD and Chairman. And in middle level of management, you can see finance, production, and sales manager. Under middle level manager, under middle level management, you can see finance manager, production manager, and sales manager. Under supervisory level, you can see supervisor. Foreman, Inspector. So this is the diagram showing the different levels of management. So this question is asked from first chapter, practical oriented question. Next practical oriented question is from chapter 2 that is principles of management principles of management so now let's go through this as a general manager list out any 10 Henry Fiewold's principles of management which you would like to adopt in your business organization so in this question you have to list any 10 Henry Fiewold principles so this question practically oriented question is for 5 marks so you have to here list any 10 Fiewold principles here no need to write any explanation you have to write any uh, 10 Fiewold principles out of 14 principles now let's write one by one division of work Second is authority and responsibility. Third 
third one is discipline fourth one is unity of command fifth one is unity of direction sixth one subordination of general interest into group interest seventh remuneration of employees eighth one centralization and decentralization ninth one is scalar chain and tenth is order so these are the 10 henry fiols principles of management you can write any 10 fiol principles of management so no need to write any explanation here so this is the practical oriented question asked from chapter 2 now let's see the practical oriented question asked from chapter 3 that is business environment in this chapter they, uh, they ask you show the different elements of business environment that influence the success of business enterprises with a neat diagram so from this chapter you have to write the diagram showing the various dimensions of business environment you have a uh, social environment political environment legal environment economic environment and technological environment this is business environment you have to write social environment technological environment political environment legal environment and this is economic environment so this is a diagram which uh, represents the various dimensions of business environment so you have to write this diagram next practical oriented question is from chapter 4 that is planning let's go through the question as a manager what logical steps you follow in planning process before executing a project as you know there are eight steps in planning process so you have to write all the eight steps here also no need to write any explanation only thing is you have to write all the eight steps of planning process first step is 
setting up objectives. Developing, planning premises. Third one is identification of alternative courses of action. Fourth one is evaluating. Fifth one is alternative courses of action. Sixth is selecting the Best alternative seventh is implementing the plan and last step is follow up action. So these are the eight steps in planning process. So this practical oriented question is asked from the chapter 4 that is planning. From chapter 5 that is organizing you can expect draw the organization chart showing divisional and functional structure. So you have to write the diagram showing uh, functional structure and divisional structure. This is the practical oriented question asked from chapter 5 that is organizing. From chapter 5 that is organizing, you have to write a chart showing functional structure and a divisional structure. So, first is managing director you have cosmetics you have garments footwear skin care and medicines again under garments you have so this diagram here we are showing both functional structure and divisional structure here you have human resource marketing research and development and you have purchasing so functional structure and divisional structure this diagram shows both functional structure and divisional structure so here managing director under managing director this these are the products which are manufactured by them and under each products there has to be human resource marketing research and development and purchasing so this is the chart showing uh, functional structure and divisional structure. So this question is asked for the chapter 5. So in this session uh, we have seen practical oriented questions related to business studies second PUC annual examination. This is session 1 and in session 2 let us continue with remaining chapters and I hope you have understood today's session. Thank you.